After speaking with several Full Sail students and brainstorming for a few days, I essentially had little to no content for five things to avoid at Full Sail University. The challenge I felt was that a lot of these flaws were simply unavoidable. Turns out there are some things you can and should avoid as a student at Full Sail. I just had to dig a little deeper to find out what they were. Campus on a Sunday. Most students would rather be at the DMV on a Sunday morning than on their college campus, but I've seen a lot of kids head to school on a nice quiet Sunday to get some studying in. This may be possible at a different campus, but Sundays at Full Sail are not normally very quiet. Full Sail holds their campus tours on Sundays, essentially turning the school into a circus for the day. Working a job. Full Sail semesters are only a month long, with class times that could run into the wee hours of the morning. Employers in the area know this and have consequently cut back on hiring Full Sail students because they end up being too high maintenance to schedule. However, if you're really super short on cheddar, Full Sail usually has job openings on campus, and I've heard they are very benevolent when working with student schedules. Lavish spending, aka making it rain. I know this one's going to be tough for all you big ballers out there who love to go shopping and tear them all up. Full Sail University is a private, for-profit college. That means expensive tuition, which means loans, which means debt. You will probably be borrowing the money for tuition at Full Sail. Resist the temptation to waste your refund. If you're already going to be in debt and you probably won't have a job, try to limit the eating and drinking out, the new toys, and especially the tattoos. Procrastinating. I once again, all too easily, passed several classes at UCF after cramming for exams and writing countless all-night papers the day before they were due. It's not as easy to get away with such buffoonery at Full Sail, where most of your grade depends on a project. So if you're a chronic procrastinator and you're thinking about attending Full Sail, then pick up some hypnosis tapes or something to cure you of your wicked affliction. Half-assing it. You would think that with the amount it costs to attend Full Sail, you'd have hardly any uncommitted students. You'd be wrong. There are plenty of half and fully baked college kids lurking around that campus. Full Sail is like an ocean and the professors are like sharks that can smell blood in the water. If you're not going to give it your all, they'll know. Go for the jugular and dedicate 100%. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.